What is this beginning? It is difficult to interpret. Firstly, because of tempo. Schubert writes Allegret. These tempos, so frequent in Schubert, are always faintly defined. The left hand leads. Pianissimo. Schubert does, does not write accents, but this chord has its own natural weight for many reasons. Because it is a chord, then it has to last long, so the sound must have a certain consistency. Then we reach it from above. And above all, it is on a weak tempo, on two an element of presence in a rhythmically weak point and this makes it stand out more. The accent is moved onto a weak note. The right hand is an emission of the chord. The last like a brief inspiration What is this beginning? Firstly, let's say what it is not. It is not a game. Here, it is absolutely insufficient to think of delicate, well-made notes. It becomes an instrument for exploration of various harmonies, more or less distant. The trio. So moving at the beginning. Then tensor and tensor. Until an extreme degree of tension. Difficult to sustain emotionally. I don't think this piece can be played alone. It should be played after the other three improvisi. Because of the, of the spiritual tension, it requires long preparation. For me, at least. I have an appropriate word that my teacher sometimes used. Tremendo. After this trio, the beginning returns. And then it becomes a little clearer what this beginning is. The sound levels dip, they go together with the metric accent, they change color. It is like looking at it all as a whole and observing things from a non-trivial point of view, not taking anything for granted. Certain paintings by Mondrian come to mind and further back in time by Piero della Francesca. It is an enigmatic construction that shifts internally.